students welcome to my class this is another session on probability technique that i would want to show you uh, in risk analysis and capital budgeting uh, before we understand the practical aspect of probability technique that's used in the risk analysis and capital budgeting i'll just quickly give you as to what exactly is the technique all about uh, probability as we all know is uh, basically that which is defined as a likelihood of occurrence of an event so the concept of probability is fundamental to the use of risk analysis technique the application of this particular approach depends upon the behavior of the cash flows basically there are two important types of cash flows one is an independent cash flow and a dependent cash flow right so dependent cash flows are basically those cash flows in a period which will depend upon the cash flows in the preceding period and the same will also follow in the future while the independent cash flows are cash flows not affected by the cash flows in the preceding or even um, in the following year so based on the probability distribution what we do here is we multiply the cash flows to get the expected uh, net present value so uh, we should uh, quickly uh, uh, probably work out this to understand the concept better uh, we have a question which says there are two mutually exclusive investment proposal that needs to be considered the cost of capital is 10% now what is mutually exclusive proposal mutually exclusive projects are basically those uh, capital uh, projects which compete directly with each other uh, say for instance as a fund manager you are asked to make a choice between uh, project x and project y so you can either choose project x or project y you cannot choose both so you must choose either of the two or not and not both then project x and y are said to be mutually exclusive it is similar to that of tossing a coin so when you toss a coin you cannot give you cannot uh, probably give anybody two heads and two tails so you can uh, probably get one head and a tail only so one thing you should understand is that mutually exclusive events are things that cannot happen at the same time so here you have to consider the acceptance of one of the projects given the data cost this is the initial investment which is 8000 8000 the uniform Co cash inflows are given to you for four years 1 2 3 4 amount is 14 18 12 12 probability is given 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 at any point of time this will be equal to 1 so that is also important for you to know probability uh, that we have under y is 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 whereas the inflow is 15000 14000 12000 and 8000 now what do you mean by probability just let quickly understand that now when i say 0 0.2 here probability for uh, the first year is 0 0.2 it means that project x will be giving you 14000 rupees as a cash inflow the chance of getting that is 20% the chance of you getting a uh, cash inflow of 8000 rupees in the second year is only 30% that's how you try to interpret so the from the above information you are asked to choose between one of the projects let's solve so what we do over here is write calculation NPV using probability technique for project project X and project Y we have here discount factor at the rate of 10% how do we know it is 10% because the cost of capital is 10% then we have CIF then we have the probability then we have EMV what is EMV expected monetary value then we have PVCIF 
BBCIF. Okay, so we have these as a columns. So let's quickly solve. So I'll just erase this portion and just copy the whole part somewhere this side. So now let's take one, two, three and four right and discount factor at the rate of 10 percent you know how that has to be arrived one divided by 1.1 so which is 0 0.909 point eight to six seven zero point seven five one we have then zero point six eight three right cash inflows are again given to us Cash inflows are 14,000, 8,000. So this portion of the information, I'll just take it here. Probability is also given to us. So probability is given to us, probability is point 0.2, this is the data. EMV is what? EMV is 14,000 multiplied with point 0.2. So this is equal to the cash inflows multiplied with the probability. We get a value 2,800 goes on like that, 2,400, 3,000. 3,600, 2,400. And what is PVCIF? I need to multiply EMV. What is EMV? Expected monetary value. Multiply it with the discounted factor. So this is equal to EMV into, so you get 2,545. Okay. So you can take this out. So the values are given to you as this. Okay. So after this, what we have to do is a usual way of calculating the total of your PV CIF. This is equal to add them all in your calculator. When you add them all, you get a total of 8,870 less initial investment. Eight, initial investment is given to us which is 8000 so therefore the NPV is 870 right so this NPV is of course measured in terms of rupees okay so this is very important so now the same way I have to do for your project Y so either you can copy down the whole thing here or what we can do is we can consider it in a different column. So you can try and copy the whole thing over here, which I've done. Same way, take the years. This will be a little faster now. Discount factor is again the same. I hope you, you understand this. Cash inflows, however, are different. Cash inflows are... 15, 14, 12 and 8. So probability is again to be taken as this. EMV is 15,000 multiplied with 0.3 which is equal to 15,000 into 
probability. So 4500. Two thousand eight hundred, two thousand four hundred, and two thousand four hundred. So PBCIF is again equal to EMV multiplied with the discount factor, which gives you around four thousand ninety. So we require a change in the value. Uh, we are not taking uh, points over here as we have not considered the same in the previous one. So therefore, we have taken this. So now, if you look at the total, the total of your I'll just take it here so that's easy for us. This is equal to Investment is the same. So therefore the answer is 1,845. So this is the NPV. So if you look at, compare this, 817 case of project X and 1845 in case of your project Y. So what will be the inference? Inference will be project Y provides a positive NPV with highest value. So therefore, project y is suggested so this is how you can write the inference i think i made it simple students hope all are following thank you for watching this